Hi there, it's April 12th, Friday, and time for Proverbs 12. Let's jump right over there and we'll get right into it. As, as usual, we're doing the Living Bible this month, just for this month, backing it up with the New American Standard. Verse 1, to learn you must want to be taught. To refuse proof is stupid. Okay. Here it says, one who loves discipline loves knowledge. But one who hates rebuke is stupid. Discipline or instruction. Which is discipline? Well, the Lord blesses good men and condemns the wicked. <laughs> yes. Yes, he does. But Satan blesses wicked men and condemns good men. So there's a spiritual battle going on there. Yeah. Number three. Wickedness never brings real success. Only the godly have that. Right? It's all fake because it won't last. Mm. A worthy wife is her husband's joy and crown. The other kind <laughs> corrodes his strength and tears down everything he does. Yeah. Wow. An excellent wife is a crown of her husband, but she who shames him is like rottenness in his bones. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Interesting the way they turn the words around, huh? Right. Five, a good man's mind is filled with honest thoughts. An evil man's mind is crammed with lies. <laughs> crammed with lies. That's interesting. But the counsels of the wicked are deceitful. Hmm. Crammed with lies. Counsels of the wicked are deceitful. It's interesting to see what they do with the Living Bible, how they paraphrase everything. Huh? <clears throat> Six, the wicked accuse, the godly defend. Pretty sure. The words of the wicked wait in ambush for blood, but the mouth of the upright will rescue them. Hmm. Okay. I guess you could say that in a short sentence. The wicked shall perish, the godly shall stand. <laughs> The wicked are overthrown, and I know more, but the house of the righteous will stand. <clears throat> it's like a Cliff's Notes version. Yeah. Eight. Everyone admires a man with good sense, but a man with a warped mind is despised. Or put on the internet, right? Alright. Let's do this. Let's just highlight something. Yeah. Better to get your hands dirty and eat than to be proud too proud to work and starve. Hmm. Well, what do they do to that one? Better is one who is lightly esteemed and has a servant than one who honors himself and lacks bread. Wow. Did they really say that? Eat is implied. <laughs> implied, right. <clears throat> so we have better is one who is lightly esteemed and has a servant than one who honors himself and lacks bread. And from that, they paraphrased it to better to get your hands dirty and eat than to be too proud to work and starve. Hmm. That's interesting, huh? <clears throat> like I said, I have never read the Living Bible. I never was much for paraphrases, you know. If you need that, it's fine. Verse 10. A good man is concerned for the welfare of his animals, but even the kindness of the godless but even the kindness of godless men is cruel. Now that's not what it says. Okay. A righteous person has regard for the life of his animal, but even the compassion of the wicked is cruel. Right. You can tell a person's nature by the way they treat their animals. All right. <clears throat> Hard work means prosperity. Only a fool idles away his time. He who tills the ground shall have his fill of bread. Literally means, and they just shortened it to that. One who works a sand will have plenty of bread. One who preserves worthless things lacks sense. Okay, this actually, I mean, <clears throat> I always thought a paraphrase was supposed to expound on things, but they actually condense it. And only a fool idles away his time. And 
you know, the word for word is one who pursues worthless things lacks sense, which makes a lot more sense to me. All right? Well, the people that dreamers, they chase dreams. And Mm -hmm. They work harder at not working than they would if they would just work. Twelve. <clears throat> Crooks are jealous of each other's loot while good men long to help each other. That's true. That's true. Thirteen. Lies will get any man into trouble, but honesty is its own defense. Yeah, that's a good one. Honesty is its own defense, right? Right? You know, <coughs> Mark Twain or Samuel Clemens, whoever you prefer to remember him by, once said that if you never tell a lie, you'll never have to remember anything. All right? Which is true. All right? If you're lying, then you always have to remember the lie you told because if somebody says, <coughs> You know, I didn't do that. I was over here doing this. And the guy said, but I saw you over there doing that at that same time. You said, oh, yeah, but I stopped by there first to do this. And, and you have to keep piling lie on top of lie on top of lie. And then you have to remember all that. Mm -hmm. If you don't lie, you don't have to remember anything. You know, if you, where were you on Thursday, April 12th? I had no idea. That was, you know, that was two years ago. Telling the truth gives a man great satisfaction, and hard work returns many blessings to him. See? Yes. The truth shall set you free. Right? A fool thinks he needs no advice, but a wise man listens to others. Boy, that's the truth. <clears throat> that's the truth. Fools think they know everything. A fool is quick-tempered. A wise man stays cool when insulted. Yeah. Insults should just roll off of you. Because it's usually said by, you know, fools that think they know everything. Huh? 17. A good man is known by his truthfulness. A false man by deceit and lies. Right. That's a good one to highlight, huh? Good man is known by his truthfulness. 18. Some people like to make cutting remarks, but the words of the wise soothe and heal. Not that. Don't insult people. Just don't. Truth stands the test of time. Lies are soon exposed. Yeah. We're talking about that. Got a pile of lies on top of lies. Pretty soon they catch you. Deceit fills hearts that are plotting for evil. Joy fills hearts that are planning for good. Or counselors of peace have joy. Right. 21. No real harm befalls the good, but there is constant trouble for the wicked. <sighs> Makes you wonder sometimes, huh? Lots of trials and tribulations and stuff like that. Real harm. That's the thing. Real harm. And the constant trouble? These rich people that didn't get that way, honestly, always worried. Always looking over their shoulders. Always, you know. What's going on on the East Coast right now? In a certain city, you know. A lot of people are panicking because they've done evil stuff to get where they are. And they're about to be found out. And they're, they will do anything up to and including murder to keep themselves from getting discovered and caught. Constant trouble. 22. God delights in those who keep their promises and abhors those who don't. Got that? Keep your promise. Keep your promises. A man doesn't display his knowledge, but a fool displays his foolishness. Right, a wise man doesn't display his knowledge. That's a good one. That's a good one. What's that say over here? 
A prudent person conceals knowledge, but the heart of fools proclaims foolishness. All right. All right. <clears throat> That's bragging, okay? Yeah, brag. I know this, I know this, I know this, I know this, I know this. You know. 24. Work hard and become a leader. Be lazy and never succeed. Right. Pretty straightforward, huh? Twenty-five. Anxious hearts are a heavy, are very heavy, but a word of encouragement does wonders. Get that? Encourage people. Just do it. Okay. Hmm? <laughs> a good man asks advice from friends, but the wicked plunge ahead and fall. <clears throat> right. Ever ask your friends for advice? They like to give it, you know. 20. 27. A lazy man won't even dress the game he gets while hunting, but the diligent man makes good use of everything he finds. Hmm. Dress the game he gets while hunting. So if you're a lazy person does not roast his prey, but the precious possession of a person is diligence. Diligence is one of my favorite words. Hmm? But the diligent man makes good use of everything he finds. Right. The path of the godly leads to life, so why fear death? Okay. Why fear death? That's good. I don't know. <clears throat> so, that's Proverbs 12. We didn't highlight a whole lot in here. Just a lot of good advice and contrasting the upright and the wicked. Right? Good does this, the bad does this. Eight, everyone admires a man with good sense, but a man with a warped mind is despised. Or laughed at, right? A good man is concerned for the welfare of his animals, but even the kindness of a godless man is cruel. Right? You want to tell a good man? Look how they treat animals. Any animals. Hmm? And part of 11. Only a fool idles away his time. Only lazy people who don't do anything. If you got nothing to do, pick up your Bible and read your Bible. Okay? Be studying. Hmm? A fool thinks he needs no advice, but a wise man listens to others. All right. You ever met a person that you can't tell anything? You can't tell them anything. Mm -hmm. 17, we highlighted a good man is known by his truthfulness, a false man by his deceit and lies. All right. <clears throat> 19. Truth stands the test of time. Lies are soon exposed. To be sooner or later exposed, right? So that would be a lying tongue. It's only for a moment. Truthful lips will endure forever. All right. So it stands the test of time. It says over here that it will endure forever. Direct translation. Hmm. And we study, we, we talked about this, no real harm befalls the good, but there is constant trouble for the wicked. Real harm, no real harm. You know, if you get sick, you know, and you're like, God help me, why am I sick? But you get better. That's not any real harm, okay? Just set you back a little bit. In 22, we highlighted, God delights in those who keep their promises and abhor those who, though, abhors those who don't. Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but those who deal faithfully are his delight. All right. I lighted 23. A wise man doesn't display his knowledge, but a fool displays his foolishness. All right. Don't brag. Don't wear everything out on your sleeve. Keep quiet. Stay humble. You know, most important traits in all of Proverbs is be humble and keep quiet. All right. 25. Anxious hearts are very heavy, but a word of encouragement does wonders. 
right? That's what coaches do, you know. You can do it. You're strong. You can make this hit. Eye on the ball. That kind of stuff. Okay, and 28, the path of God leads to life. So why fear death? Why fear death, right? I like that. So, there's Proverbs 12 for April 12th. That was interesting. Comparing good and the bad, you know, they do that. So, stay tuned later for Through the Bible in One Year. We are into the story of David and David and Jonathan and Saul hates them. And God doesn't want to be king anymore and Saul doesn't want to listen, so. But yeah, that's today. Catch up on anything you may have missed. Give us a like if you think about it. But until later, stay humble. <laughs>